Hi, so I want to talk about uh, 3D printer motherboards, whether you're gonna build it yourself or buy one, what you need to know and what to choose, especially if you're starting. Okay, so in my case, I, I, I started to build my own motherboard. This one is the second iteration because I just wanted to make it cheap and uh, I used uh, this one, the ESP32 because I already had one and uh, it only costed like three dollars so it's very cheap. The The main problem with this one is it, it has like 21 usable pins. Uh, all these four pins from here are just inputs so you can only use two for the to read temperatures. And these two do not work because they're connected to on the chip for the memory or I don't know exactly what. But you cannot use them. So there's just 21 pins. And the second main issue I, I gave up on this is because I wanted to move to Clipper and uh, it's not supported. Let me show you. So these are the the architecture supported in uh, clipper for now so it's that mega the stm32 like the most used ones are these ones at mega and stm and it also supports raspberry pi here it's where i i, I saw it and uh, that's how i moved to this one because i, I searched it online and i found it's it's very cheap the board just costs four dollars just like the esp32 so that's why I moved to this one. Plus the advantage with this one it's this one has uh, 24 usable pins. Uh, of, just like on the ESP you cannot use these one these two ones. So you're just left uh, with the one other ones. It's 24. And basically what this allowed me it's to connect a fifth stepper here. Because it's exactly three pins, the direction, step and the data line. And this allowed me to, basically this is like the minimum you have. Minimum is like X, Y, Z extruder, so four steppers. And here I'm having the thermistor, two thermistors for bed and um, extruder, two heaters for bed and extruder, two fans for the extruder cooling and part cooling and three three end stops this one is like an extra one it's connected in parallel to this it's just for my pro okay so this is one thing you need to take into account uh, especially on this chip chip uh, development boards they have very few pins that's why when they build cheap uh, 3D printers, they were using this one, the Atmega 2560. And the uh, ramps, this this board that you just plug into this one. And then they, they move to this, this one, where they just put everything more nicely on one board. But it's more expensive, it's like $30. This one was like 20 so it, it was still expensive in my opinion because i could build it in four okay so this is like three four dollars for the chip and all these components make like another three four dollars maybe ten everything so it's much cheaper even than this and the the thing it's these ones are very high performance this one is like 133 megahertz this one was even better 240 and this one is just 16 megahertz for example if we go on clipper they have this section with benchmark how many steps per second you can, your microcontroller can drive so the faster you can print so you see first is this 16 megahertz then the stm family F0, G0, they keep growing. Here's the Raspberry Pi. Not bad. And these ones, let me show you what this means. So look, they have, they went uh, from F0, 48 megahertz, 64, 72, 170, 180, and 550, the biggest one. So these are the chips. You can find on your motherboards 
So this is this is the motherboard I was intend I was thinking of buying. So it's forty one dollars. Performance wise, compared to this one, it's like uh, twenty four times better. Because the alternative was uh, I was not uh, taking this one in consideration. I was thinking either to buy this one or this one but this one it's it's even cheaper i, I didn't realize that the at that point because you see this one comes with six uh, steppers six of these so on this one you pay 30 and you have to still buy five of these and let me show you five of these is 20 dollars so 20 with 30 it's already 50 dollars and you get 16 megahertz of performance here it's cheaper ten dollars and you get the 180 megahertz basically this one you get this chip which is almost you see this one is the same so it's the second best you can buy for just 40 dollars you cannot beat this motherboard i'll put it in the link if you're interested and plus uh, well i mean if you build it yourself something like this with 10 maximum 15 dollars you cannot beat this one well you also pay 20 for this so it will be like 35 yeah if i think about it uh, this one is cheaper and uh, believe me it's uh, it's a lot of work and frustration to build this one so after I, I've, I've built two of these of course it was fun and i learned a lot of stuff so if, you want to build something like this would be fine i, I would recommend to build, build the raspberry pi this one if you want to do it because it's 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 as cheap as this and uh, at least you you might use five if you want if you don't want to use five steppers build it with this one but you cannot run on clipper this one not sure if this one runs on esp32 because i didn't check okay so let me show you maybe the the biggest the best performance is this big three octopus just the board costs 64 dollars if you buy it with steppers 100 dollars so it's quite expensive so 40 versus 90 yeah it's more than double uh, one more thing I want to add, it's about these steppers. Of course, if you buy this one, you already get stuck with this one. But in my opinion, this is like the best performance stepper. So you're already good. Uh, basically, when I, I started looking, I was I had to choose between these four, the last four, these ones. Actually, these three, because this one is very new. So what you look at this is the interface. It's either SPI, SPI serial, or SPI or serial. Problem is with this serial, you only need one pin. So if you do it yourself on this, is the only way to go, because otherwise these ones will not work. Um, the second thing is this one, the resistance one. You see, this one has five, three, two, and one. The lower the resistance, the less heat the chip will generate and the cooler it will run the cooler it runs the less chance of something going bad there is and then there's the maximum current i didn't this one you will care when you go into high performance one more thing here is the um, the features they have uh, for example this one the 2208 it's almost the same like this one it just doesn't have this toll guard this one it's useful if you want to go like um, homing without end stops but i i like the idea but in practice is not so great so i just gave up so but these two cost the same so better go with this one because it has more features just in case you want to use them this one it's really expensive let me show you see so 8 of 22 it's 94 8 of these it's 221 so it's crazy expensive um 
one more thing to mention here it's don't go with this one especially if you're building cheap because i i i chose this because they're super cheap it's like five i don't remember exactly five four dollars four of these or five but they're so noisy you cannot run the printer in half so i just sold them and uh, bought these ones i consider this is this one's like the minimum in today's okay so i think this covers all the info i wish i knew when i started building my printer hope you enjoyed like or subscribe if you if you want to see more